Hello everyone. Welcome to Mayur Programming Club. Today we will be solving another daily lead code problem and the problem's name is eighth largest element in a given stream. Okay. So you have to design a class uh which can return whose implementation can return the kth largest element in the given stream okay so let's read the problem statement so you have to design a class to find the kth largest element in the stream and it should be noted that the kth largest element in the sorted order okay you will be returning the kth largest element in the sorted order not the kth distinct element okay so you have to consider the duplicates also and the kth largest element will be from the sorted order okay and you have to implement the kth largest following things in the kth largest class first thing will be the constructor which will initialize object with value k and the stream initial stream of integers comes okay represented by this array integer array and then you have to implement a method or a function which will take a uh, input uh, a value as the parameter and you have to add this value to the current stream and then you will be returning the kth largest element in the stream after that addition okay so let's have a quick look at the constraints also before thinking of an approach so according to the constraints the number of the k uh, value will be ranging from 1 to 10 is to power 4 and uh, basically all of the constraints are set to 10 is to power 4 the length of the initial num sorry its entries and the value that will be okay and these things are also ranging from uh, ranging to left uh, towards minus 10 is to power 4 to 10 is to power 4 the values of the nums array and the values that you will be uh, you know instructed to add to the stream okay will be ranging from minus 10 is to power 4 to 10 is to power 4 okay so the upper bound of all the things are 10 is to power 4 and at most 10 is to power 4 calls Will be made to this add function that will be adding new values to your stream of integers so the stream of numbers you can say and it is guaranteed that there will be at least k elements in the array when you search for the kth largest element okay so you need not to have to worry about uh, having uh, not having sufficient elements with you you will always be having sufficient elements with you okay so without further delay Let's see how we can solve this particular problem. So here we will be using the concept of heaps. So let's say you are given a fixed size array of elements 5, 2, 3, 4, 1. Okay. And uh, basically you should be knowing about heaps to solve this particular problem. Basically what heaps uh, does is uh, there are uh, we use uh, mostly two kind of heaps in heaps and uh, x heaps okay so as the name suggests min heap always return you the maximum minimum element in the heap okay and uh, the max heap will always return you the maximum element in the heap okay so the sorting and arranging of elements will be done and taken care of by the heap itself and it will help you to make things easier for you just by giving out the minimum or the maximum elements depending upon what kind of heap you are using okay so if you are still curious about heaps and trying to learn more about them or you are not familiar with them uh, beforehand so i will provide a link of an article describing what heaps are there and uh, more things about them okay so a link will be provided in the description box you should definitely check uh, uh, that article out regarding heap if you are not familiar with the heaps concept okay so i hope you are now clear with the heaps 
or uh, you have visited that link and now we are good to go so what we will be doing here is we will be using a min heap here instead of a max heap so we will be using this heap so what we will be doing here is uh, if the heap size if the number of entries is less than k then you will keep adding uh, values to heap let's say k was 2 ok so what you did is that first of all you added first two entries 5 and 2 ok they are not essentially like a stack just you can imagine it like this ok 5 and 2 are added now the heap size is 2 now comes the third entry 3 ok so when the third entry will be coming you will be seeing what is the minimum element in the heap okay it is 2 so if the current element that you are trying to add is greater than the minimum element this was the minimum element so you will replace it you will remove 2 out of the heap this is happening when uh, the heap is already of size k okay if it is not then you will keep adding the values without any replacement or anything okay so 2 will be taken out and 3 will be added okay so next time you will be seeing 4 now what is the minimum element it is 3 again this one is lesser than the current element so the current is this time 4 so 3 will be removed and 4 will be added now again you came to a new element and fortunately or uh, you can say any anyways you are uh, at a element which is less than the minimum element in the heap so you will not be doing anything and because the heap is already of size k okay, so you will be uh, just continuing with your traversal of this array so at the end you will reach the end of the array and you will be done with it so the, so the now heap is having uh, k elements in it and the top of the heap is having the minimum element the heap okay and because of the nature of operations that we performed we will be having the kth largest element at the top of the heap okay because at each step we were giving the minimum elements uh, out of the heap okay if the heap size was already 2 so when you will be finished with this kind of traversal you will be having the kth largest element as the top of the heap okay and since we were required to find the maximum kth largest max, uh, kth largest element so that's why we take the min heap okay so that was the reason because we were trying to eliminate all the minimum elements before we uh, are left with only two elements and uh, one of one will be the top, top of that heap will be the kth largest element okay so that's why we took min heap so this will be the logic and rest is implementation now let's have a quick look at the constraints uh, not constraints uh, the code and we will see how we have implemented this approach okay things will be pretty same with the stream that you will be given to us although it is not a, a fixed size array but still uh, the concept remains the same okay so let's remove these comments i think the code uh, should be uh, visible enough for you and let's try to understand what we have how we have implemented this okay so we have taken a mini uh, min heap as we already discussed because we wanted to get rid of a uh, minimum element in the heap as when we are encountering a element which is greater than the minimum element in the heap and the heap is also of size k okay so first of all you will be uh, initializing couple of variables the k variable will be initialized with the help of this constructor okay it is initialized here and then you will be using this heap and entering the initial stream of the numbers okay in the constructor itself 
so as i told you if you are having less than k elements in the heap then there is no point of saying that okay we are having some uh mini uh we will be doing some replacements or something because you should have at least k elements with you so if the limit of the heap is reached uh, size of the heap it means you are having k elements then you will see if the current element being uh, visited or uh, being tried to be added to the heap is greater than the peak uh, top of the heap or the minimum element the heap then you will remove that minimum element and add the new element which was the greater one okay so now once you are done with it uh, you are done with the constructor then you will be finish you will be having initialized the heap with the initial values of the stream now comes the implementation for the add method or you can say function okay so here what we have done is here the logic remains the same uh, just the addition logic this logic that uh, will be reused okay this logic and you will be simply returning the peak of the heap after you have done that work okay and if we talk about the complexities complexity wise you can say that let's say the size of the nums array was n and let's say this add function was called m times and uh, since the size of the heap was already uh, limited to k so the overall time complexity will be order of n plus m into log of k because addition and uh, removal of a k size from a k size heap will uh, cost you that much time complexity okay and this is the factor from the number of times you have to do the, those additions or removals okay order of number of times okay so that's why that time complexity and space complexity wise as you must have guessed we are not using any extra space other than this heap and it is of fixed size okay so it is of size k so these are the complexities if you are still having any kind of doubts for any queries in general then you can ask them in the comment section and i really hope this solution walkthrough added some value to your journey of honing your dss skills until next time keep solving more and more problems and i will see you in the next video thank you for watching